Today I'm going to show you a really useful knot. It has a lot of different uses actually. It's called the Canadian Jam Knot. And for demonstration purposes, I got a little piece of paracord just about two feet, two feet long. Now, the Canadian Jam Knot can be used for a wide variety of things. You can use it as a lashing knot to tie uh, whatever objects together with. You can use it uh, to tie up stuff like bed rolls and blankets and tarps, stuff of that nature. You can also use it as an emergency tourniquet. So. What we need to do here is on one end of our paracord, we need to create a stopper knot. And I like to do this in a slip form. So what I'm going to do is form a slip knot first. So we'll rotate it over, create a loop. Then we're going to fold that loop over the standing end. Then we'll pull a small loop of the standing end through and we'll snug that up just a little bit. Now with the tail end, we're going to send another loop through that loop and then we can tighten the whole thing down. So we want to pull from here and then on this side of the loop, pull them together and that has created a slipped stopper knot. So you can't, uh, you know, it, it works as a stopper knot, but whenever you need to quick release it, just pull in the tab and it very quickly comes off. So once again, pull a loop, fold it over the standing end, pull a small loop through, snug it, and then send the tail in, send a loop through that loop and then tighten the whole thing down. Now the next thing that we need to do is to create just a small overhand knot a little further up the line. It's just a simple overhand knot that pretty much everybody knows. Now we're going to take the tail end or the other end of our makeshift tourniquet here and we're going to send it through that overhand knot. And now what we've done is we've created a a slip knot that will lock against itself. So now, if you're going to use this as an emergency tourniquet, all you have to do is place it around whatever appendage and then just tighten it up. And when you tighten it against itself, the overhand knot will hold the tension on it and the jam knot will not allow it to slip on through. And so now it will hold its pressure. And because we put it in a slip form, you can very easily take that off. Then if obviously if you had this longer, you can make several wraps around here and tie it off for use as an emergency tourniquet. But it can be used for a wide variety of other things too, uh, such as, like I talked about before, uh, rolling up tarps and blankets and stuff of that nature or using it as a lashing knot. So that is the Canadian Jam Knot.